For this question, we have to evaluate four different investment opportunities and see where we end up with um, at the end of 10 years. You can see that the starting amounts differ slightly as well as the interest rates differ slightly, so how much you're going to earn over time, and then uh, they, they mostly differ based on their compounding frequency. So we have one annually, one monthly, one quarterly, one daily, and we need to see how that's all going to work out. Uh, so a couple steps for each one. Let's let's um, run each one out for 10 years, but before we do that, we always want to get our interest rate on an annual basis so that we can um, uh, roll it out 10 years, or if it were compounded at a different frequency, such as for B, C, and D, we want our interest effective based on that compounding frequency. So if it's compounded monthly, we want a monthly effective rate. We want a monthly quarterly, uh, we want a quarterly effective rate for Part C, and we want a uh, effective daily rate for Part D. So let's evaluate Part A. Part A is going to be the easiest one because the 7% is already compounded annually, so we'll just take 200 and 1.07 per year, roll that forward for 10 years, and it's a quick calculation where we get $393.43. Okay, B, C, and uh, are all going to be more difficult. So we're starting with $195 for B, 7% compounded monthly. So if that's compounded monthly, that means we're going to divide it by 12 to get it per month. So the 0 0.07 divided by 12 to the power of 12, that's going to equal our annual effective rate. So that's probably even better to do it that way. 1 plus I or 1 plus R. So if we want I, our annual effective rate, it's just 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by 12 to the power of 12 minus 1. And the reason we're, we're going to go back and do the annual effective rate is that then we can just use this piece here and always raise it to the power of 10. Okay, so we get 0 0.07 divided by 12 plus 1 to the power of 12 minus 1, and so this comes out to uh, 7.229 percent, which you would expect it would be slightly higher than 7 percent because 7 percent compounded monthly will catch up to something actually greater than 7 based on the compounding. So our final um, amount is going to be 195 times 1.07229 because that's our effective annual at 10 years and this equals 391 dollars and 88 cents. So, so far the 7% annual um, is winning, mostly because even though the rate was smaller we started with five bucks more, two hundred dollars instead of 195. Let's go to C. We'll do this one in orange. Uh, same thing, we're going to convert the quarterly rate so 1 plus 0 0.068 is the quarterly rate so we want to get it per quarter and raise to the power of 4 because it's 4 times per year that's going to equal our 1 plus i so let's find this annual effective rate and i will equal 0.068 divided by 4 plus 1 to the power of 4 minus 1 and we get 6.97 percent roughly uh, again I'm not rounding any of these I'm just rounding them to write down but I'm keeping the values in my calculator so then we take that and we're going to say okay we're starting with um, two hundred and one dollars, so two oh one times one point oh six nine seven, which is our new annual effective rate to the power of ten again, and we get three hundred and ninety four dollars and forty nine cents. Okay, so this is our new winner so far. One more to go. Let's do it in green D. Uh, 1 plus 0 0.068, this is a daily rate, so we're going to divide by 365 because we want it per day. The 6.8% is annual, but it's compounded daily, so we're going to divide that annual rate by 365. But then we're going to raise it to the power of 365, and that equals 1 plus i, just like we've been doing.
we get an annual effective rate of 0 0.068 divided by 365. 0 0.068 divided by 365 plus 1 to the power of 365, and we get 0 0.07036, so 7.036%. Plug this back in starting at $196, 1.073, or 07036 to the power of 10, and that equals 386 dollars. So even though and 86 cents. Therefore, C is our best option because it gave us the highest amount when we were investing. Um, you can see in D, although the rate's very similar and it's compounded daily, you'd think that would be really good. Um, the combination of the fact that it's 6.8% as opposed to 7, as well as $196, so it's a bit lower starting amount, um, the compounding even on a daily basis still won't quite catch it up to where it needs to be. So C is your, uh, your best option. Just to recap the steps, always use our method of 1 plus r over n to the n equals 1 plus i, where i is your annual effective, so this is getting it on an annual basis, and n, so r is, your, or r is the rate that's given, n is the number of times it's compounded per year. If you, if you use this as the basis of all of our questions when we have to convert our interest rates, we should have no problem. Hopefully this is helpful. You can always email us more questions, info at arnoldtutoring.com. Thanks.